Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video.、Uh, it's time to look at the upcoming basketball shoes again.、Uh, after a crazy month, mostly because of the All Star Weekend, March isn't about to cool down that much. There are quite a few bangers, one absolute must cop, multiple signature shoe debuts. So let's get right into it. Starting things off,、uh, this is technically released on the last day of February. But if you want to try on or grab a pair, now is the best time, and that is the Nike Book One in this、uh, what they call Mirage V2, the gray colorway. The first colorway was nice and buttery. This one is subtle and low key, so it's the one I went with. I'm still on the fence about the look. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's really just a shoe, you know, like Air Force One, Blazer Mid, however you like to think about it. I'll just tell you one thing: these are a good performer on the court. Lots of nice details on the shoe. Translucent also is not bad. So if you dig this colorway, should be out now as we speak. On March 1st, lots of good stuff on this date.、Uh, we got a double header from Adidas: AE1 Stormtrooper, or they're officially calling it Best of Adi, and Harden Volume 8 in this black, red, and white colorway. If I have to pick one out of these two. That A1 is so clean. The touches of green on the tongue tag and heel are just spot on. Like the A1 is a shoe that I can just sit home and stare at it to appreciate how beautiful it is. I've always liked it, but it's like the more you look at it, also A1 low, that's gonna be interesting. Yep, you heard it. Low top, we'll see. Anyways, I personally won't be going for any of these two. Otherwise, Adidas is gonna make me broke. I mean, they also got more colorful ones coming later this month. You'll see. I'm just trying to get a nice stroller here. So yeah. Also on March 1st, from Nike or Jordan brand,、uh, we're getting a we're getting an orange Jordan 38 low.、Uh, this is apparently a women's release, but I'm sure they'll have extended sizing on these on their site. And this is called the Sunshine colorway. If you like the low top. And you prefer a bright color that can pop on the court? There you go. I like the regular Jordan 38 more. Given the materials and upper construction, it transitions a lot more smoothly than the 38 low. But yeah, there's that. Still on March 1st, KD 16 Slim Reaper. This one looks really cool in hand. Pretty shiny, a little bit bloody, and it's a solid performer. 17. I don't know how I feel about that. They went from Air Penny Two to Air Max Plus, but I think it just takes time for the design to warm up. Like the KD16 now, I see it as a completely unique and individual silhouette. Same day, still we have a Luca Two Olive colorway. It's a nice mix of different shades of green. The logos are orange, some dusty olive vibes maybe. And there's also a Puma Scoot Zeros Northern Lights, black, blue, and pink. A tiny bit of yellow on the also. Not bad. I still think the Cheetos collab is worth copying more. March fifth. I know for those of you in the U.S., they launched it early for members already. And the Tatum two is here. I think this shoe looks terrible. Again, very subjective, and I don't even have them in hand yet. But it's gonna take some really impressive performance. For me to change my mind, so they basically stuffed the holes on the Tatum one. This Mama's Boy release,、um, I don't know about those floral patterns. The good thing is that this could mean more and bigger discounts on the Tatum one. Now here's a big one. In my opinion, the best release of the month, and it's from a Chinese brand. The Anta Kai one is finally here. So this design just speaks Kyrie all over it. You can find traces of his Nike shoes. For sure on this model, March six, 125 U.S. dollars. From what I heard, they didn't go with the concepts provided by the Chinese designer. I think from Anta's side, Kyrie's own team still executed everything, so that might explain the final product looking a lot like a Nike Kyrie. I mean, he's the chief creative officer of the brand, and they certainly gave him full control, as we can tell. I'll drop my prediction here. I think this partnership. It's gonna produce a lot of good shoes for us as consumers, but it probably won't end well,、uh, or end on a happy note. We'll see. I haven't even talked about the shoe itself. Sorry,、uh, mine should be on the way, so I'm very excited for that. And I know a lot of you are looking forward to give it a try as well. Best part might be the price.、Uh, Kyrie likes to keep his shoes at least somewhat affordable, and he certainly did. 
Just like his Nike days, we might see a budget Kyrie from Anta later too. So much to look forward to there, really. The next day, on March 7th, LeBron next gen amped Liverpool. Um, I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful pair in hand. Very elegant, I'll put it that way. That's what you call a premium touch or at least it makes you feel that way. I have to admit, LeBron absolutely dominated that game against the Clippers. If you are a LeBron fan, I think this one is a good cop. The LeBron 21 should still have a lot more colorways to come. We technically haven't seen a collab yet. Next up, March 8th, AE1 Velocity Blue. This one he has worn in game. Just another eye-catching pair. I don't know if they'll come with extra laces. Probably not. Those of you who bought the All-Star colorway, did you get any laces? Please let me know. I don't think there is, right? His neon green laces are a perfect match for this all blue colorway, but you just might have to find your own. Also, good luck with the lace swap. Like this video if your hand also hurt like shit doing it. All right, we keep going to March 14th. Um, I was really surprised that they decided to release these. And this is the Nike Sabrina One. Oregon. The Ducks PEs are some of the most sought after sneakers out there. That green and yellow color scheme has also become iconic, especially for sneaker hats. And it looks like Nike has decided to make it a general release this time. Now, that's something we should applaud, I think. I initially thought these were just her PE, but apparently not. And imagine if they turned more PEs into general releases. That'd be fantastic. One day later, we'll have the green Harden Volume 8. It's more of a dark green or forest green on top of the black base. Then you have some pink on the bottom. This one is probably my favorite one out of all those releases from the pack. Hard of Volume 8, be aware of creasing. It happens fairly quickly. Cushion is decent and traction is excellent. As long as you don't mind the look, Cubone, or my wife just said, you can iron your clothes with that shoe. Now I just can't unsee that. Um, before we conclude, I am not aware of the specific release date, but sometime this month, or sometime in March, we should see the All City 12 Silver colorway. One of the best performers available now. Having the entire shoe covered in a silver coat looks better than the other more colorful ones to me. There should still be more All City 12 colorways coming up later. From Chinese brands, I think they're still doing more AR1s, Big 3 Future and all that. But it's hard to find a set release date for those. You know, everything just depends on your location. And don't forget that these release dates get changed or pushed back all the time. Just take it as a preview so you're prepared, I guess. Way of Weight 11, they're gonna unveil it soon, I believe. It's been almost two years. Oh, and um, more news related, they're also bringing back the KD4 on Pearl around the holidays. Fun fact, the KD4 was the first model to have the Unpearl edition. The KD3 we had last year looks amazing, but that colorway is basically a brand new creation, technically not a retro. So that's about it for the March releases. Uh, we pretty much went through all the good ones in the first half of the month. Chances are these different brands will announce more good stuff later on. Or if there's any other cool release that I missed out on, please feel free to add it in the comment section. Also, let me know which one you'll be going for next month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.